decide if this looks silly or good so find the line hello everybody welcome back to the kitchen again it's not a cooking channel but we are doing another baking thing i look kind of different today and like yeah i, I can't decide if this is a a good look or a very stupid look. Don't be afraid, this is not my new look, although I have been experimenting with different hair just for fun. I've been wanting like an Edwardian sun hat for a long time, so I quickly bunged this one together so I don't look too hard at it. It's not anywhere near what it's going to look like. It's being held on with a particularly sharp knitting needle. So it's the day after Valentine's Day. Yesterday was Valentine's Day and Mr. L and I didn't get to do anything. He was at work all day and I was asleep. It's a beautiful day and we're going to go for a picnic. Because it's Valentine's Day, I want to do something romantic for Mr. L. And a few years ago, uh, actually god like 10 11 years ago we had like a baking day at work and i contributed these little bleeding heart cupcake things i'd found the recipe on the internet i think on epicurious like i'll link it below if i can find the original recipe for you i do like to share my wee baking adventures with you and i think you seem to enjoy them plenty of people request 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 more like making of things things so they don't look by any means beautiful but they do look kind of gross which is sort of what I was going for and when you bite into them they bleed <laughs> so we're going to take these on our picnic up to the botanical gardens with a bit of sparkling wine and a sandwich or two some cold cuts that kind of thing it's going to be lovely it's beautiful and sunny also like I don't have a parasol and I've left my fan at a friend's house so I needed some sort of sun protection I'm hoping the big silly hat will work please join me in my adventure in making well that mm, they're sort of veiny and gross looking. I don't know if they really look like hearts, sort of. <laughs> so like every kind of DIY type thing I do, this isn't a tutorial, it's just for inspiration. For example, if you've got a special somebody in your life and you fancy making them some kind of gross, veiny cupcakes that are vaguely reminiscent of hearts that bleed when you bite into them, keep watching. <laughs> I also wanted to make them look kind of shiny so that was a bit of an experiment as well. I can't eat them because I'm on a carbohydrate restrictive diet. It's working out for me pretty well so far so I'm not going to break it. So it'll have to be Mr. Ralph who tells us whether or not he likes them. So yeah just a wee bit of inspiration, a wee bit of inspiration but let's go on another nice baking adventure here in this tiny wee kitchen. It will also be a vlog of our wee picnic day. I think we're probably going to go up to the rose garden or somewhere nice. I don't know, I guess about it when we get there. Hopefully there'll be two other many. Two other many? Too many other mm -mm, people having romantic picnics at the same time. Maybe if there are, we'll scare them away. So, let's begin our baking adventure. Because I'm lazy and it doesn't really matter with what recipe or flavour you make these, I'm using Edwin's Vanilla Cupcake Mix. You can use whatever mix you prefer or make them from scratch if you feel so inclined. The mix asks for two eggs and milk. You will also need raspberry jam or jelly or fruit compote, whatever you like. Red fruit goo of some kind. Raspberry jam is always good. I got a block of pre-made bright red icing, glucose syrup, blue food colouring, butter, icing sugar, and vanilla essence. First I measured out the butter, one part for the cupcakes, the other chunk for the blue icing, and left them to soften for a few minutes. To the butter I added the cupcake mix, the eggs, and milk, and blanched it with a beater according to the recipe. <laughs> into a muffin tray. This makes 12 but I only have one tray so I just made two lots. I remember the old recipe saying to scrunch up a bit of tin foil or use a baking ball or similar to dent each cake into a shape vaguely resembling a heart. I scrunched up little bits of baking paper and tried to make minimal mess. While waiting for them to bake, I made the blue vein icing. I blended some butter in a bowl, dumped in some icing sugar and a bit of milk, not measuring anything as usual, a few drops of vanilla essence and some blue colour. I beat it and added more icing sugar until it kept a fairly stiff shape. Love made the birds that sting, the flowers in spring, and everything for my sweet heart. Love made the skies of blue, the morning blue, the sunbeams blue for my blue icing into a ziplock bag to make a piping bag for our veins. Only a tiny corner needs to be snipped off. And here I'm experimenting with a glaze. I had no idea what to do so I just guessed as I went along. I mixed together a bit of cocoa with a glob of glucose syrup and added a bit of red food dye to that to make it look more like thick congealed blood. Once the cupcakes were done I left them out to cool and baked the second lot. This time I didn't put the baking paper balls in. 
When all were baked and cooled, it was time to put in the bleeding part. This can only be done after the cakes have been baked, otherwise the jam will sink to the bottom. I carefully cut little wells into each one and nipping off a bit, if you can see what I'm doing, so there's room for the jam. It's important that these wells don't go all the way to the bottom, maybe about two thirds of the way in. I spooned a fair amount of jam into each one and replaced the top. Doesn't super matter about tidiness, but try to keep the tops as flat as possible. Take what this life of ours can give. Love, love and love. Love, love and love. Drink to the strength, no leave the heart. I've discovered that I hate working with this icing, but figured it would be better than mixing up my own with lots of food dye. This stuff gets sticky very quickly. I don't have a rolling pin or anything, so I flattened bits of it out with my palms and placed it over each cake using the back of a wet spoon or my fingers to smoothen and shape it. A bit of warm water on your fingers or spoon will help it smoothen. Quite hard was making the little worm shaped bits for the chunky red veins, but these aren't really about looking beautiful anyway. <laughs> then using the Ziploc bag, I piped little thin blue veins all over. Testing my experimental cocoa glaze, I had to warm it in the microwave so it was soft enough to drizzle, but it is still extremely thick and sticky, so I only used it on a couple of cakes just to test it. It was a bit harder making the round ones look heart like, so I gave them large arteries, but I still look gnarly, which is the main thing. If dreams have kept you up, you don't need pills, you need thrills. Love's a precious thing that never fails you. Love is good for anything. Somehow I managed not to film it, but I made another experimental glaze with glucose syrup, warm water, and jam. I sort of splattered it wetly onto the cakes, and while this looks terrible and messy, it actually worked. Uh, yeah, so, um, that's, <laughs> there we are, what do you think? Thank you so much for joining me on the wee baking adventure. They really don't look as good as I'd hoped they would. I mean, hmm, I like how I achieved the shine. I feel like they're probably going to be quite sticky, but like I said, I guess you have to watch the vlog to find out what Mr. L thought of them because I made them for him with love, with my heart, my heart to his forever and ever. Mm, I really want to eat one, but I can't. I think if I were going to do it again, which perhaps I will someday, I think the one that ended up looking the best was the one where I put like the cocoa in the glaze, not even a glaze, I don't know, the, the shiny goop that I splattered on top with a wee bit of cocoa in it, I think it made it look a bit more bloody. Would you eat these, honestly? Like, would you, would you take one, take one? Would you take one? This nice, sticky, gooey, bleedy, ugly cupcakes. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Come and join us, join our big spooky family. We are the best. I'm going to pack these in a nice picnic basket and we're going to go to a lovely picnic in the sunshine. Not too much sunshine. I don't think it needs to be Valentine's Day necessarily to make gruesome cupcakes. I mean, you could make these any day of the year. You could make them anytime you belly well feel like it. As always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, stay gross and weird. No, don't. Just stay lovely and I'll see you next time. Bye. Just look her over. This is the message. She's mine.